everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome to month three, Let's Stitch a Year of Stars. The star quilt block that we're going to be stitching today is the Union Star. I love how this block turned out. I had so much fun machine quilting it. Now, if you're just joining me, if this is your first time to learn about this stitch along, let me just tell you a little bit about it. The first of every single month for this whole entire year, all of 2021, I am stitching a star quilt block on the first of every month, teaching you step-by-step -step how to machine quilt this block. Now, if you do want a workbook like I've created for many of my stitch alongs, we have a piecing workbook that teaches you step-by-step -step how to piece the panel like this beautiful panel that I'm stitching. This is a custom panel that is available through for purchase through Honest Fabrics. However, if you want to piece your own, we do have those instructions. Also, we have this really cool calendar where every single month we have these designs that are all illustrated, really nicely illustrated, showing you exactly how I have machine quilted every single one of these blocks. The other cool thing about that awesome calendar is on each month there is a QR code. So when you flip your calendar to March, you'll see that cool QR code that you can use your smartphone and scan and it'll bring you right to that month's video. How awesome is that? I love it. I am having so much fun with this stitch along and I hope you all are too. So today, let's get stitching. I'll start out by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of my quilt block. Once I have stitched in the ditch all the way around the outside, now it's for time to start stitching on the block. I love the look of Stitch in the Ditch, so it's something that you're going to see me do quite often. Once I've stitched in the ditch all the way around the outside, then from there, now I'm going to work on the first yellow block. I'll start out by stitching an X through the center of that block, using the seams, the ditch, as the place where I travel from point to point. Once I've completed that, now I'm going to travel down to that blue section. So these blue blocks, I'm going to treat them and the light pink triangle as if it's one long unit. So I'll start out by stitching all the way around the outside of that unit. Once I've stitched around the outside, now I'm going to stitch some straight lines, ignoring the seams right through that section. The lines are going to be evenly spaced a half inch apart. So I'll hold my machine quilting ruler so that the first marked line on that ruler lies right on top of my previous stitch line. Then from there, I'll work my way back and forth from seam to seam across the block, filling in with a couple of straight lines. Once I've completed that section, then I'll travel to the next one and repeat this process again, filling in with those evenly spaced straight lines. Once I filled in with those straight lines, then I'm going to move to the next corner where I'm again going to stitch an X through that corner block. So you guys know that I love really heavy quilting. I'm trying my hardest to keep this block a little bit more simplistic, but if you wanted heavier quilting, you could always go through and in those pink triangles, we're leaving those unquilted, you could add a little filler to those. Now I'm going to travel down to the next blue section of this block and start out by stitching in the ditch and then I'm going to add those straight lines through the center again 
ignoring any piecing, any lines, I am making this one long unit. Now I'm going to travel to that corner yellow block where I'm again going to stitch an X through the center of the block using my ditch as the place where I'll travel from point to point. I will stitch over my previous stitch line, but again, I'm using really fine thread, so if I do need to stitch over that sometimes, I'm okay with it. From there, now I'm going to move to the last corner on the block where I'm again going to stitch those straight lines through the blue section, ignoring any seams. From there, then I'm going to travel to that last outside yellow block where I'll stitch an X through the center of the block. Now I'm ready to move to the center portion of the block, so to get there, I will travel along the ditch. When I get to the outside point on the next pink triangle, I'm going to use the medium size curve on my mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler and stitch a point-to-point -point curve from the outside to the inside. From there, then I'll travel along the ditch between the light pink triangle and the dark pink triangle. When I get to the opposite side, then I'll again stitch one of those point-to-point -point curves using the medium curve on the mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. From there, now I'm going to travel along my ditch, working my way over to the next light pink triangle, where I'll again use that medium sized curve, stitch up to the center of the block, and then over to the opposite corner. From the opposite corner, I'll again travel along the ditch around the dark pink triangle, using that as my traveling stitch to get to the next triangle, light pink triangle, where I'll stitch those point to point curves. Then using my ditch as the place to travel from one point to the next. I love not only the look of stitch in the ditch, but how you can so often use your ditch as a place to travel from one point to the next. Once I've stitched all those point to point curves in the outside, now I'm going to travel and stitch in the ditch around that center pink star. I want to add a few lines through the center of this star, so I'm actually going to switch here and use my four in one machine quilting ruler instead of the mini, just because it's a little bit longer. So now I'm going to stitch a straight line through the center of my block from one point across the block to the opposite. From the opposite side, now I'll travel along my ditch, working to the next point, where I'll repeat that process again, stitching from the point through the center of the block to the opposite point. From there, then I'm going to travel down to the bottom corner, stitch in the ditch along the bottom side of my star, And then let's start dressing up those outside triangles. So here I haven't done any marking. I'm keeping it pretty simplistic, but you could go through and mark out each of these triangles. So I'm stitching a straight line about to the center point, keeping my spacing about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch from the top of the triangle, working my way all the way around the outside of that light pink star. Once I've worked my way all the way around that light pink star, 
Now I'm going to add some lines to the light pink star to dress it up even more. So you could again go through and mark your centers if you wanted. I'm eyeballing them. I'm starting out this first one by stitching an echo that's a half inch from the outside. So holding my machine quilting ruler so the first marked line is right on top of the edge of the block. I'll stitch it inside echo to the center and then right back all the way to the outside. I'll repeat that process on all sides of this star. Remember, I did not yet stitch in the ditch across one of the sides, so I will need to stitch in the ditch as I'm traveling to complete that portion. I'll repeat that process on the final side of my star quilt block. I hope you all found a little bit of inspiration today. If you do want another version of this quilt block design, make sure you do check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Natalia Bonner. Have a great day, everybody.